welcome to my very small, and I do mean small, master bathroom water closet. I don't think we've ever um, met in here before. <laughs> but you guys, this space is very small, and I'm frantically trying to take care of some projects by the end of this year, okay? I don't wanna spend my holidays doing a lot of work. I just wanna relax, enjoy the holidays, and there's some things I want to get done by the end of the year. You guys, I started to open this video up with me sitting on the toilet, of course, with my clothes on, but I started to be sitting on the toilet, but since some of you all don't have a sense of humor, I thought, I just open up the video while I'm taking off this plate, this light switch plate. So I've just taken off this light switch plate before I start my painting. But y'all, we're getting ready to paint this bathroom. So again, um, I have moved everything out, took the bar off, the towel bar down, because I do not need it. My dude number one, has put together a um, toilet surround cabinet kind of thing to give me storage. You guys, I'm in desperate need of storage. So to give me some storage in here, that way everything doesn't have to be out. I don't want to look at cleaning products. I don't want to look, look at toilet paper. I don't want to look at any of that stuff, okay? I didn't need a tall one or I didn't want a tall one because I want to put some type of art or something on the wall. So that's why I did not want a tall, you know, the traditional ones that the toilet, um, the stands or the racks that go over the toilet. I didn't want the tall one, okay? So I just wanna do something simple, put everything behind a door where I don't have to look at it. And yeah, I just thought I'd finally do something with this water closet, okay? We're gonna keep it really simple. Um, I'm using some paint that, paint that we had used. We've used it in the, uh, in our, not the living room, the hall area, a hall area, and I think our dining room area. And I can't even remember what the color is and some of the, trying to think, some of the paint has ran down the side, so it's kind of covering up the label. So this is what I'm gonna use, because this is almost a whole gallon of paint because they needed just a little bit to finish the hall. So I'm not gonna be wasteful. There's no need to buy any more paint. It does have a satin finish, so it'll work in here. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm hoping I can knock this out in about an hour, hour and a half max, y'all. Hour and a half max. So we're getting ready to paint this bathroom. Uh, my dude, number one, a.k.a. my husband, he does know that I'm painting today. And you guys, these big old holes back here where I took, took out the... Um, those little things you put in the wall. You guys, I cannot remember what they're called. Anchors, something. Whenever you don't have a stud and you, you know, kind of hanging something with some weight or something like they would have been pulling towels down or dry, drying their hands on towels. You need something to kind of hold it with, you know, to give it more support so it won't fall. So whenever you're not going into a stud, oftentimes you have to add those anchors in there and then you put the screw in the anchors. So they've caused the these large holes in the wall. Guys, I'm not worried about trying to, I guess maybe fill these holes. tallest ladder that I have so this is what I had to use to get up here behind the um the commode y'all I had to use this ladder but I'm safe I am safe so don't y'all worry because I am leaning on 
and on this wall. It's kind of awkward, but we're going to make it work.
Okay, the bathroom is done. But as you can see, I did not fill in those holes with the paint. Yeah, that wasn't working. The paint was running out of the holes. <laughs> and I'm not gonna worry about um, filling the holes because they're gonna be covered. Now, if my dude, number one, had painted, he would have, what you call it, spackled and filled in the holes and sanded and goose and about doing all that, okay? Because you won't be able These were the knobs that came on the cabinet, but I found these knobs on clearance at Big Lots for $7.99. So I just replaced them, of course, to make, make it look better. And also with the cabinet, um, this side where they, they have the um, 
it's a magnet that that holds the door or allows the door to catch it wasn't really catching on this side so I just got some um, um, velcro some little velcro strips and just added it to the corners that way the drawers will the cabinets will close and it was mainly this one the one over here on the left side it, it does okay um, and this one here in the middle it's, it's fine as well it was just that, that one that was on the right okay these towels here we've had these towels for uh, definitely about 12 years our oldest son purchased these towels for us and we've had them ever since. There was no need to buy any more towels, so I kept them. And then these little, um, my wall decor, if you remember, I used these in the hall area. And they were there for maybe a few months, and then I decided I wanted something different. So what I did was, I just put them away, and then I couldn't really find what I wanted to go on the wall. So I decided to paint these. So that's what I did. I just used what I had. So this was a pretty inexpensive makeover. The only thing I did have to purchase, those $7.99 knobs, um, what the candle, I had the little bowl that has the lights in it, and I needed to purchase the another um uh, bathroom mat but other than that and then especially with the paint we already had the paint so you guys I used what I had so I hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys I'm trying to get all this stuff done before the end of the year and this project in particular before Thanksgiving Thanksgiving is in um is next week so I'm trying to get that done in between cooking and baking and everything else so all right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I certainly appreciate you all for watching. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. And as my doom number one, my husband would say, hit, ooh, that was my cord, I'm sorry you guys, hit the nosy. So thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time.